your RLC circuit in series should look something like this. Um, notice that I'm missing my power source. So the way I'm going to find it is I'm going to type um, AC voltage source. I'll click on that. I'm going to place this into the spot over here. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to have an amplitude of 10 volts and a frequency I'll leave it at 60 hertz. Notice that my voltage I'm measuring the voltage across the capacitor. So I have my positive side of the voltmeter on the positive side of the capacitor coming out of the voltage source and the negative side of my voltmeter on the other side of the capacitor. Um, this goes in, feeds into my physical system to simulate converter. Notice my current meter is in line with the circuit. So I'm not measuring across a, um, a component. I'm measuring the current that's going through each of the components because this is in series. Um, I need to have a solver configuration here so you can see it right here. Um, next I'm going to show you how to add a scope and then have multiple inputs to your scope. So I'm going to control or um, just click and type scope. So there we go. So scope. And now I want to double click on my scope and then go over here to configuration properties. And I want two inputs. I want to be able to have an input for my voltage and an input for my current. And I'm going to click on layout. And I want to click two graphs. So I'm going to say OK. So notice I get two graphs. And notice here on my scope I now have two inputs. So I'm going to have my voltage on one input and my current on the other. Now I should be all set to run. I'm going to save my program, hit run. And I can see that my um, voltage output, the peak is about um, close to 3, but my current is around 0 0.1. Notice that the peaks do not line up for the voltage and the current. So this is showing us the phase shift that we see for um, a capacitor for ice, right? So our current should be leading our voltage. Um, and you can check each of your problems um, with this. So you'll just need to change your configuration here and look at the scope and you should be able to get your values out of your scope for your problems. You're going to be reporting your amplitude. So you're going to be reporting your peak value that you get. Um, so you can move this voltmeter around, right, to do the different components. Just make sure that your positive side is on the high side of each of the components and your negative side is on the low side. So the high side is towards the battery or towards your voltage source and the low side is towards ground.